It's a Tipper Motorhome Allegro Open Road, built right here in Alabama, Red Bay. They all are very great. They have some common things, common things about them that uh, makes them all the number one seller. Full body paint, 25, 26 gallon paint. You don't have to worry about your decals fading or wrinkling up or coming off. Clear coat on top of that. So all you got to do is wash it, keep it clean, and so you don't to it. Move them around it. Here is just to show you the quality. Don't do that with anybody else. One I might can handle it, but this one definitely can handle it. These little black boxes are, are turn signal cameras. You turn this on and you back up the camera, you'll see what's down the side. The mirror plus this, you got no blind spots. Ford V10 engine in that gas pipe. It's got 362 horsepower, 457 foot pounds of torque. It gets the job done. 35 foot, 32, 36, and all that. We were going around. Got a lot of storage in it. You got a place right here you can plug up a TV. You want to watch a TV, all your hookups are right there. This storage goes all the way through, and as you can see, it's well lit. Central Vac dump right here. Central Vac and all their coaches. We, we ordered Central Vac. We ordered the, uh, some other information I'll give you up front. We'll get inside. Fresh water tank, 70 gallons. You can camp at Walmart or Cracker Barrel for a while with this. Propane tank, 30 gallons. And look at all that storage all the way through. That's where I'd put my rods and reels or some chairs or tables. You can load it up. This storage here is all the way through with this carpet line. This is all the way through, carpet lines. You can carry everything you possibly need and then some in this. They always send you some extra tile because if you were to drop something or cut a piece of tile, you can replace it real easy, take care of it, and keep going. This here is the bunkhouse model. That's why you got the two, the two extra outside lights, or windows here. Ladder up the top, full walk of the roof. One piece fiberglass, not rubber, not vinyl, one piece fiberglass mold. All you gotta do is wash the sucker, keep it clean. That's it. You can tow 5,000 pounds behind it. Fuel fields right here. 75 gallons of fuel. You're gonna get 8, 9, 10 miles per gallon, depending on your foot, where you're at. You fill it from either side, kind of makes it handy. Storage from the other side we just looked at. 50 amp power cord. As long as you got 50 amp service in the campground, you can run everything on here at one time. If you had the pigtail down to 30 amp with that little pigtail, you just can't run with one air conditioner. You just kind of think about it a little bit. 5,000 old man generator. Runs right off the same fuel tank as your engine. It's the optional generator. 5,500 standard, 7,000 is much quieter. That's why we order. You get out there and you're sleeping at Walmart or somewhere in the back back here, you won't know, keep you awake. Very quiet. This is your work area. You need to show your wife how to do all this. She won't do it, but you can show. Outside hot and cold shower. You got your black tank flush here. You hook up your sewer hoses here. Full house water filtration. You can do it all right here real easy. If you're going to fill your fresh water tank and you got water running to it, just turn that lever down fill your fresh water tank. You can also fill it from the other side by sticking a hose in. Cable and tripod hookup out here. Well, this has an automatic satellite dish already on it, so you might not use that. If you go somewhere and park in the shade and you need to set up your, your tripod, you can just hook it up right here. That way you don't have to park out in the sunlight to get you to get you a direct TV or dish network, whatever you got. Uh, we'll go inside now. That's pretty much got a 35 foot plus of motorhome. A lot of room. Three slides in this one. Actually four in this one. It's got the bunks in it. You see your front end here. You got your leveling jacks. They're hydraulic. Touch it automatic. It'll level the coach. Now when it says it's level, it's not level. 
my wife has told me that so I have to go back and adjust it to her needs the refrigerator has to door has to stay right where she puts it and the head of the bed has to stay be one inch taller than the foot I make it happen don't know how I just quit when she tells me it's okay uh, backup camera color like I was saying before, you, when you turn your signals on, you'll see what's down each side this way. You can turn it on going down the road, watch your boat, watch your car. Uh, up here in the front, we have the big TV. This is an optional TV. If you move around through here, this is the standard TV. But we always order the other one. Some folks like to watch a little TV riding down the highway. This is covered up when the slide comes in, so that TV's not. Plus, if you live in Alabama, and Auburn and Alabama aren't playing each other, you can watch them. And I know in Alabama that's a plus, okay? You can see your kitchen area over here, microwave convection oven, solid surface countertop here with your eyes under here. So when you're not cooking, you got a nice area to, uh, I don't know if you want to fix food on it or whatever, get something ready to go, or just have a bunch of guests over, you got a place to put things. Big sofa here has an air mattress on on the uh, on the sofa. So when you lay it out and blow it up, it's nice and comfortable. This will probably be your second primary sleeper except for the bunks. This makes a bed also. You can see it's nice and big and plush. All tile throughout. The only place we got carpet is on the slide out room. That's because you need it to trim it out. You move on back through here. You got your refrigerator with ice maker here's the bunks you mentioned them outside you got two bunks you got a ladder that goes here for the child can get up here real easy to the second bunk if they got games like my grandkids do they got a dvd player in both places they can sit here and play their games watch movies whatever they want to do then you got your bedroom of course now this sofa this bunk and these closets all slid out as one unit that's why you got so much room in here. And look at all the closet hanging space. Pretty wood you're looking at is chestnut with three layers of clear coat on it. That's why it's so pretty. Lots of drawers. Point of information on the wood. Tiffany gets all their hardwood from the northeast and northwest. This same chestnut tree took twice as long to grow up north as it would have down here gives you a lot prettier grain. That's the extent they go to to give you a, a real nice look and something you'll be proud of RV. Queen bed. Got a lot of storage under it. Place for extra blankets and quilts or linens, whatever you might want to store in it. There's actually 60 doors and drawers in this particular motorhome. There's 60 of them. So you got plenty of places to put everything. Big 32 inch TV in the bedroom. It swings around because you got to put it against the wall when you bring the slide in. Bathroom. Big restroom. Big sink, a lot of work area. Big shower. This opens some way. If I, if I grab a right end of it, it opens, okay? Nice medicine cabinet. Um, you can't hardly see it, but you got some more area right here you can put linens. You got a couple more, a couple more cabinets. And let's see, we'll move back toward the front. A couple of things. If you look at the ceiling, you don't see any air conditioners. Air conditioner returns are not here, right? That's because half of these are intake and half of them are exhaust. The AC setting way up on the roof. Very well insulated from you. You won't have to turn the AC down while you're watching TV. It's very quiet. The front AC is also a heat pump. So you got electric heat. You don't have to have that ceramic heater we all got in there to help heat our own heat our motorhomes and save LP. You can do it right here. Uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. One other thing, we've got new day night shades. That's your night shade, solid, real easy to use. We'll take it back up for day. Let the day shade down. A little bit handier than the old day night shades we used to have. Uh, works real easy. 
probably going to hold up better. I guess that's pretty well it. I don't